Hello, we're going to do something a little different now. We're being given y, and we have to find the x's that go with that y. So let's do it. We're going to go to negative 3 on the y-axis, and then over to the graph, and then up to the x-axis, where we find out that x is negative 3. So x is negative 3. OK. Now we start at y equals negative 2 on the y-axis. And guess what? There are two places on the graph where y equals negative 2. OK, well, I'll start here, and I'll go up from this one and discover that x is negative 4. Whoop, whoop, whoop. OK. Then, one more time, I'll go to y equals negative 2, and this time I'll go to this side of the graph, go up to the x-axis, and discover that x is negative 2. There. All right, now we're going to go to 2 on the y-axis. I'm going to go to the left first, where y is 2, go down to the graph, and discover that x is negative 8. Darn! Keep forgetting to change. OK, now I go to 2 again on the y-axis. This time I come over to the right on the graph, and go down to the x-axis and discover that x is 2. There, remembered that time. OK, finally, y is 3. Let's go to 3 on the y-axis and go over, I'll go to the right this time, it doesn't matter. Go to the right, touch the graph, go down, and discover that x equals 3. Then one more time, I'll go to y equals 3. I'll go over to the left side of the graph, go down to the x-axis, and find that x equals negative 9. This time we started with y and found the x's, but we're still relating x to y and y to x. Talk to you next time.